Well, hey there, folks. I'm thinking about letting this one go. President HR 2510. This thing is um, in absolutely mint condition. The cases are just as mint. Let me see if I can't turn a light on here. Sometimes the light just makes it worse. Okay, there you go. You can see just how mint this is. I'll show it to you what the case is all on. I think I probably have an original microphone, I think. But I don't think, I think it's missing the end or missing the element or something. I'm really not sure. So, I do have the original power cord. Um, I do have the connector for the, for the rear of it here. It's mint, mint, mint. It's been a long time since I hooked this up. Um, it's doing something that I don't quite understand on the meter. I'm sure someone can... It's probably a matter of needing to be adjustment. When I bought this, I brought it straight to the uh, CB shop in Las Vegas, and I don't know, that might have been a mistake. Um, I, I did tell them to, you know, drop the dead key so I can run it with an amp. Not quite sure if he did it right. So it might need a couple of adjustments in there. I don't want to. I mean, I pulled it up on my phone. I know where the adjustment pots are. I don't want to mess anything up. So right now we're on the CB band. It is open for 11 meter, 27, 2050. And when it's on this frequency here, it doesn't seem to make very much power. Now it is turned down for to run an amp with. Let me turn this light off. Okay. So it's on the 50 watt scale. So you can see it's dead key in like two, two and a half. Hello, audio, audio, one, 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 one. Hello, audio, one, one, one. I don't know, right about, looks like it's right about 12 and a half, 13 watts, give or take, is what I'm seeing. That's about all it's doing on AM. Um, notice when you go over here and you change the bands, and you go up a little there. Hello, audio, audio. Well, you start getting more power out of it. Let's go up one more here. Let's go up to 28. Hello, audio, audio, audio. Then it starts going above 30. So, and then here it is way up at 29 here. Hello, audio. That's what I expect it to do. You know, what I would think it should do just on regular 11 meters. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it there. But, um... Yeah, I don't know why it does that. We go back there to 11 meter, channel 20. Hello, audio, audio. Only wants to make about 12, 13 watts. So I'm not really sure why. You can see it makes the power on the other frequencies. Not sure. So with that being said, someone is going to probably have to get in there and adjust something. Um... Yeah, because there's no buttons here I can push to make it do any more power. At least not that I'm aware of. I am running an adapter with it here so I can just run a normal regular microphone. I'm going to get you a real good picture of the inside of it here. Let me go ahead and turn the light on. Man. 
mean, I don't think it's a matter of something being broken or burned up in it. I think it just needs to be adjusted. I can't be 100% sure, but that's what I'm guessing. I do remember saying when I took it to the tech there in Vegas that when you turned it down to a two watt dead key that you're not going to get you're not going to get the, the swing out of it on the top end. These radios need more dead key. So that could be it. I'm not sure. I'm not going to get in there and mess with it because I know at the time I saw his frequency counter and it was it was pretty much on the money and I have talked sideband on this so I don't want to jeopardize any of that. I mean there's there's an adjustment there for the AM and then they say there's an another adjust you want to what is that uh, yeah I believe it's that one down there anyways let me let me show you the other side of it stand by okay here we are on the other side I mean, you can see just how pristine it is in there. So, you know, I don't want to tell you you're going to hook it up and be talking 35 watts or whatever it does on 11 meters because for some reason it's not doing it here. But, I mean, this is a super, super clean radio. There's the bottom right there. I did put those pads on there. But they'll come right off and you can just see how clean it is okay so once again there's that bottom cover here's the the other cover right here just so you can see how how nice it is that's about as mint as you can possibly get right there all right stand by so once again, there's the front. There's the sides. Let's go ahead and get the rear too. And I believe it has a sticker on the other side here. Yeah. All right, let me turn this light off here real quick. All right, let me get my um, receive radio. Make sure we're transmitting out of here. Stand by. Okay, folks, I got my little receive radio here with the antenna off. Hello, hello, audio, check, check. So you can see it does, does, does work. Hello, audio, check. One, two, three, one, two, three, audio, audio, check, 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 check. Hello, hello, audio. I mean, the meter works, it's transmitting, so hopefully it's just an adjustment in there. I think that's all it is. Hello, hello, one, two, three. Hello, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, audio, check, 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 check. Alrighty, stand by. Here it is on sideband. Of course, it's not going to transmit over this because this is only AM. I'm going to sound all garbled. But, hello, hello, audio, audio, hello, sounds all beloved, blah, 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 not inside, man, but, uh, hello, 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 audio. I don't know, it's weird, according to that, it's making full power, something just isn't, uh, isn't jiving with it, or, I don't know, I really don't know what to make out of it, um, You know, there's FM. There's not going to be any modulation there. Just care here. See what it does there. So that's the 50 watt scale. So it's doing. Is that like three or four watts? Hello? Yeah, there's no modulation there. So, you know, I remember when, when the guy adjusted this. I don't want to mention any names. But I remember he just adjusted the um, AM power to get the dead key down. I mean, this was years and years ago. And uh, from reading on it, you're supposed to go in there and it says you're supposed to set it on CW and jump something. 
and then use that AM power to set it at 21 watts. And then when you're done with that, take the jumper off. And then you're supposed to uh, not use the AM power, but you're supposed to use, I think it's VR107, I'm not sure. But it's the other one I showed you at the bottom, and then you're supposed to adjust that to your um, to your act to your, your dead key. So I think he adjusted it wrong. Um, I'm not even sure which jumper they're talking about. I would have tried it, but I've Googled it, and I'm not sure. They say jump pins 8 and 9. I'm not sure where they're talking about in there, so I don't want to mess with it. But if anyone's interested, here it is. It works. It just... On this frequency, you can see it's not making full power. I want to be totally transparent about it. You know, I don't want someone to get this and hook it up and be like, hey, it's only doing 13 watts an AM. Someone's going to have to go in there and, you know, adjust it probably with the proper equipment to get it where it needs to be. But other than that, it's super, super clean. Let me see if I have a microphone for it. Stand by. All right, guys, I thought I had a microphone. I, I never hooked it up. I do have the stock microphone with the up down buttons. Um, yeah, I've never even tried this because it didn't have the. Uh, I never put an end on it. You know, everything I have around here is four pins. I never did put an end on it. That's that's how I got it. And uh, I've always used the adapter with, you know, when I did use it. I mean, I actually had this thing hooked up years ago and. Um, I had it hooked up to a little, like, Texas Star 250 or 350 or something like that back in the day, and it, it did just fine. Everyone said it sounded really clean. But, um, yeah, so I do have a stock mic. It's going to need an input on it, and, you know, I cannot guarantee if the element's good in it. I don't know. I remember what it is. I had another one of these I picked up and the element was missing. That's what it was. But this one here I've never even tried. So there it is. Anyways, um, I don't want to let this go too cheap because it's in just... I mean, honestly, if... Um, you know, if I was... I don't even know what these do. What do you do? Like 35 watts or something? 40 watts, I guess. I'm not sure. If I was seeing full wattage out of this on this frequency... I mean, I'd ask every bit of $300 for this because it is probably the cleanest example there is. Um, you know, so like I say, someone's going to have to go in there and probably adjust some stuff and maybe, you know, have a little bit of equipment to get it where it needs to be. Um, it comes with the mic. You'll need to wire that if you want to use it. And it comes with the correct power, the original power cord in there. You know, it's a length power cord um, if anyone's interested um, shoot me an email Vegas forward guy at gmail.com Vegas forward like the car guy like a guy Vegas Ford guy at gmail.com um, don't lowball me on it because it's it's freaking you know it's a clean freaking radio. But, um, yeah. Okay. We'll leave it there.